fat serves multiple functions, most obvious and often only appreciated function being energy storage. Even a lean human has hundreds of thousands of calories stored on their bodies, ready to be used, waiting to be used when needed. Unfortunately, in our environment, that means rarely, uh, most because people eat so often. It also acts as a degree of insulation um, with regards even to heat, and as well as uh, acting as a bit of a cushion. And then as we're really going to talk about next time, it also acts as a, as an endocrine organ and produces multiple hormones and signals, dozens of them that then move through the bloodstream and act on various spots of the body. A particular enzyme, nothing uh, little else will make sense when we talk about fat storage if we don't start with um, a discussion of LPL, which is um, known as lipoprotein lipase. Lipoprotein lipase, anytime you hear that suffix uh, ase, something, something ase, that means it's going to be an enzyme. So lipoprotein lipase has a particular, a unique job because its primary function is to pull fats off as they circulate through the bloodstream on what's called a triglyceride-rich lipoprotein. Now, that's a term I've used before, but a triglyceride-rich rich lipoprotein is essentially a bus that is moving through the bloodstream that's carrying a bunch of fat. And the passengers on that bus will stop and get off wherever there is lipoprotein lipase. So lipoprotein lipase is like a bus stop for fat. And wherever there is these bus stops or lipoprotein lipase, that is going to be a tissue that is pulling in the fat to be stored. So wherever we have lipoprotein lipase, we have a potential to store fat, a, a high potential to store fat. And of course, where we have more lipoprotein lipase, we will selectively store more fat in that location. Now, lipoprotein lipase can't act alone. Of course, there are signals like insulin that will induce the expression of lipoprotein lipase in particular places. Like, for example, if insulin is elevated, then it is increasing the expression and activity of lipoprotein lipase in fat tissue. When insulin is low, it is reducing the activity of lipoprotein lipase in fat tissue. And in fact, in that same instance, uh, in, like an example of exercise, <clears throat> when a person is undergoing frequent exercise, it's increasing the expression of lipoprotein lipase at muscle tissue because the body is essentially being trained. The muscles are being trained to burn more fat for fuel and to pull that fat in to burn it. It needs lipoprotein lipase again to be pulling in those fats from these triglyceride-rich lipoproteins. And let me just mention what those are. That's going to be things like the chylomicron after it is fat that you've just eaten. It could also be fat uh, lipoprotein, um, lipoproteins that are being produced from the liver. These triglyceride-rich lipoproteins being VLDL and then turning into LDL.